Hi, this is Gabriel Quintani de Peixoto. Our work is titled Nucleotide Mutation and Protein Stability of SARS-CoV-2, A Brief Experience with Machine Learning. This work is advised by Professor Santo Xavier. In our introduction, we explain how single nucleotide polymorphisms are a great challenge to protein stability in all domains of life. In human beings, more than 80% of disease-causing mutations lead to a loss of stability. However, in humans, there is a correction system that tends to discard protein sequences that are not correct or that are unstable. In viruses, nonetheless, this correction system does not exist, and the ribosome and all the systems are prone to errors, or so are, so are our very own system in humans. So in this work, we evaluated the most common mutations of SARS-CoV-2 that are reported in the literature, and then predicted the associated protein stability based on four predictors, was available on mode funk, which contains information on mutations and experimental results of frequency for each mutation. These mutations are predicted with the modules FODEX and SIFT4G. Using this data, we predicted the stability of these mutations using iMutant, DIP, DDG, MCSM, and DataMute2. Here, in figure one, we can see the prediction of protein stability in each of these predictors. What we can see here is that some of these predictors tend to be more conservative, meaning that it's harder for them to predict instability in protein stru structure, while other predictors tend to predict instability of structure with more ease. So deep GDG tends to predict protein instability with more ease while iMutant and NCSM is more conservative and tends not to predict those instabilities in the structure. What we can see here on figure two is that from all of the detected mutations on SARS-CoV-2, most of those mutations are destabilizing, meaning that they disrupt protein structure and consequently its function. However, there is a slight percentage, especially in these three regions, where a relevant percentage of the mutations are stabilizing, meaning that they retain protein function. Finally, here we can see that in the top 10, top eight mutations are located mainly in regions that do not have a 3D structure as in A and F. However, some other mutations are located in regions where a helix or a beta sheet is formed as in B, C, D, E, G, and H. And when that happens and that mutation is located in one of these regions, that tends to be more destabilizing to protein structure since those 3D structures are very delicate and any this imbalance in amino acid charge or any changes in the environment might be detrimental to, to the three-dimensional structure. So these, these uh, top eight more common mutations were distributed in these models. Six are X, XR8, six, XDC, 7JTL, 6RFV, and 6M71. So with that, we conclude that from these most common mutations, they have very different frequency values, and four of them were detected in a single PDB model, which is a chain of the 6XRA protein. However, other models have also detected mutations. With that, we conclude our presentation. We hope that you enjoyed this presentation and this work. Please feel free to contact Professor Santo Xavier in case of any questions.
Thank you.